Porter Tire Soaks. Welcome back to the 2016-17 school year, Tiger fans. As you can see, I'm standing here on Tiger Field, which come Friday night will look totally different. In fact, our football team will look different too. To begin with, the program is now under direction of Coach Mr. Matt Mulaski. Let's check in with him to get the inside scoop. Thanks, Tyra. Uh, in addition to me being the new head football coach here at Lenox, you will see a bunch of other new things here as well. You will see uh, new new uniforms that the players had that they we were able to purchase from their fundraising for the last three years. You will see the new logo up on uh, the 40 yard line and uh, painted repainted tonight. You'll see the entryway redone with the home of the Tigers and two concrete pillars and a steel sign provided by Dalton Ag and um, Lincoln's Lawn Care Service did the pillars for us. Uh, you'll see the new bathrooms that will finally be unveiled for the first home football game, which was supposed to be done last August. Uh, you'll just you'll see a lot of new things, uh, new offense, new defense, a lot of rotating and moving around. Uh, coaches look like they're swatting flies on the sideline, but we're really actually trying to tell the kids what to do. Returning this year, we have our whole backfield is back, uh, minus our quarterback. We have Jared Hensley returning at tailback and Sam Donaldson returning at fullback. Both very quick guys. One's a more of a power runner, the other one's more elusive and can make you miss in a heartbeat. Uh, Jared's one of those guys that when anybody who was playing can tell you, you just look at him, you think, God, I'm going to line this kid up and land him out. And then he spins on you, he makes a quick move, and you look like an idiot on film the next day uh, when your coach is going through it with you. Sam, a different runner, more of a downhill runner. Um, the, the, just needs a little bit of a gap to get going and he's going to get us four yards at a pop so that's what we told him that we're looking for out of him. Dawson Tolbert return, uh, is a returning tight end for us T playing a completely different position and taking over the leadership role at quarterback has done a fantastic job all through camp and in, in what I used to call two-a-days uh, leading these guys and being a very positive person uh, in the huddle and around his teammates. Uh, very quick foot speed, one of our fastest runners in the track, one of our most versatile runners in the track. So we're looking for big things out of Dawson this year and at a totally different position. And then our emotional spark plug, Derek Van Tagger, uh, he gets the whole team going with anything he says. He, he can just rile them up. And, you know, it, some of the things he says gives me chills every now and then too. And that's great to have. And every team needs an emotional spark plug. And that's our Derek Van Tagger. He is the leader on the offensive line. He can tell anybody what they need to do. And uh, is a very physical young man. And has really improved uh, since camp has started with everything that he does. Our returning defensive starters, uh, we have Derek Van Tagger again played line. And we'll be looking to play a little bit of linebacker here, here and again when we need him to. As that's a position that we have uh, some depth problems at. Um, Derek again, spark plug, oh, his motor always goes and on defense he would be a guy, type of guy that I would not want to block because if you take a play off for one second he's got you. Uh, you also have um, Sam Donaldson playing a to totally new position, De formerly defensive end now moving back to linebacker to where he can play downhill, not have any type of outside run responsibility and possibly in some coverage which he's had no problems with with his speed and um, his physical size. Dawson Tolbert returns as a corner. Dawson had four interceptions for us last year on defense. Just, he, he does a great job covering. He gets, he always has his body in the right position and is never turned around the wrong way to where he ends up getting beat because of poor technique. And uh, Jared Hensley, same way on defense. Hard to block, just as hard as he is to bring down on offense. Uh, just, he, he's quick and he's deceptively strong. He, he, when he gets in on your legs, you're going down. And that's one thing we need for him to continue this year. But now moving back to the corner spot, gets him out of the linebacker spot where he gives up a little bit of size and now gets him out in space where he'll be, where he'll be tougher to block. And then Colton Hogan's also returning on defense uh, towards the end of the year. He started to play really consistently at a, at a corner spot and started a few games for us and did a really great job and we hope to have uh, have him to continue to per perform and improve as the year goes on. This summer we started lifting weights in June 
Uh, we started with our three sets of 12 on most of our core lifts and three sets of six with our cleans. Then we moved, uh, moved it down three sets of 10, three sets of eight, and then ended up with a power series of three sets of five before the kids maxed out. And now we're back, and then we gave them a week off, and then now we're back at it with three sets of 12. So it seemed like somewhat of a marathon for them, but they've done really great. Uh, they're working really hard. As you can see, our weight room is pretty small, and we are jam-packed in there. But what we've done is we've switched it up to have younger guys, so freshmen and sophomores, doing lower body stuff, while older guys, juniors and seniors, are doing upper body stuff. And you can kind of see some of that with these clips here. What I've been really impressed with is how the older guys will help the younger guys with technique. Uh, there's one of me in there compared to 26 of them so I can be walking around and uh, encouraging guys or you know working stuff working on stuff for AD stuff football stuff class stuff and these guys will jump right in and, and help the younger kids with their technique and form making sure that they're doing everything right it's been a blessing to have those younger guys learn from the older guys and receive that encouragement we're really looking forward to this week, and this is why you work so hard all summer is to get into games and start competing against somebody else other than just yourself. We do make time for fun, though, as you can see in some of these clips, as the guys uh, had fun filming these things and had a little bit of a dance party in the weight room in between sets. I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun. So I hope you guys. Uh, are looking forward to seeing the new changes just as much as we're looking forward to showing them to you.